Good afternoon, everyone, and we are here for another college and career conversation with instructors Kelly Williams and Bertha Little. Mm -hmm. They both work here in the salon and spa management department. Now, I see a lot of activity. So, Ms. Williams, we'll start with you. Tell okay. us about the expectations students can have when they enroll in your program. Okay. Well, um, for one, expect to have fun. Um, this industry is fun. Um, expect to uh, learn. Come with an open mind. Expect to um, be taught by teachers who are experts in what they do. Um, expect to work hard. Mm -hmm. And um, and when you finish this program, you will be equipped with the skills and stuff that you need to take the state board exam and to get out there and work in this industry. Smart Spa Management is a broad term. What are the different curriculums or areas of expertise students can get involved in? Okay, well, our um, salon management is actually cosmetology. So of course, cosmetology covers every aspect. Mm -hmm. um, what are we, those aspects? I know uh, barbering is one. Yes, we, well, cosmetology has an associate degree in applied sciences. Mm -hmm. Um, we do have a certificate program in barbering. We have a certificate program in aesthetics. We have a certificate program in uh, nail care and also natural hair. And we also um, train students be to become uh, cosmetology instructors. Wow, that's awesome. Yes, it is. Do you have to have experience? Do you have to have experience okay. in salon and spa management before you enroll here at the school? No, no, not at all, because that's the purpose of coming, so that we can train you. Um, we train you with every aspect of cosmetology. Like I said, you'll learn um, how to shampoo and condition hair from the simple, simplest thing. You'll learn chemical services. You'll learn how to roller set. You'll learn how to blow dry. You'll learn how to use your curling irons. You learn barbering techniques. You learn spa techniques such as um, manicures, pedicures, eyebrow waxing, makeup. You also learn, um, like I said, barbering techniques. So you learn how to use your clippers. Um, you learn how to fade. You learn aesthetics, which is skin care. So you learn how to do facials. So it's, it's a whole spectrum. So no, you don't have to have any experience in cosmetology. And what's the career path? Like the what's a student's career trajectory once they graduate from the program? Well, of course, you know, as most people think of cosmetology, you think of a hairstylist behind a, um, sitting behind a styling chair. But the, um, you can go so much further than that. I mean, you're looking at a hairstylist, you're looking at a personal assistant, um, you're looking at also a makeup artist. You can be an educator, not only an educator in a school, but you can also be an educator with uh, salons. You can go to certain salons, uh, all kinds of salons rather, and um, teach stylists how to use their products. Um, you can even become a mortician. That's their cosmetologist. Uh, How often do we see entrepreneurs come from a salon and spa management background? Well, most entrepreneurs will have that because they have that cosmetology um, license. So being a salon owner, you of course you've got that cosmetology license. So yeah, you do see that in entrepreneurs. So let's go on to Miss Little. Okay. And she's going to show us how hands-on her program is. So tell us, what are the students behind you working on right now? Okay, this is Cause 111. This is introduction. Well, this actually, sorry, this is Cause 112, and this is our lab. So this is introduction to cosmetology. So right now the students are working on braids, and all those students sometimes come in and they know how to braid. We work on their finger dexterity, so their fingers can be strong throughout the industry. So right now, Miss Maya is working on an outside three-strand braid, well known as a corn roll. The difference is Maya is holding her comb as she parred, as she detangled her hair, her mannequin. So that's one of the techniques. And if we could go down farther, we also work on, and we name our mannequin, well, the, the mannequin come with a name. We work on our sound mannequin, and we also work on our Dion mannequin. 
So Mackenzie right here and Tadalius is doing a term, well, cornrow style called pop smoke. I just thought it was just a regular coin roll, but you know, youngsters have more insight with our industry with new names, so they're doing pop smoke breaks. Yes. And so you have Miss Brittany right here. So she's doing a band two knots on Sam. And the band two knots, if you look at the details, she, these are some of the braids that we have learned. This is the two-string rope braid. It's just not a flat braid. So at the end, once she complete this particular braid, she tied up in the band two knots. And also, when you're in school, we also have procedures that the students have to go by, written instructions as well as visual aids. And this is Dion. And this is something that Brittany worked on yesterday with the same texture. And to get a student in action, we have Katrina who just finished up Dion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you notice that the students, all the hairstyle, Brittany, could you hand me that mannequin? At the end of the, at the, end of the class, all the hairstyles should look alike. They should be twins. See how great they are? They're beautiful. Thank <laughs> you. All right, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to our latest college and career conversation. Ms. Little, give our future and current students some word of encouragement. Okay, come ready, come excited. Uh, come knowing what you really want to do once you get your license. Uh, with this particular class, a lot of them are mature. They already knew what they wanted to do. Most of them want to be salon owners. Many of them already, are already working in a salon. So just come with, you know, excitement and a will to do what you want to do. All right. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.